Hey, what's up everybody? It's Brian with Frugal Footprint. Today I'm going to be working on my bed frame, so you can watch this video series to see the entire build from start to finish. But today I'm specifically working on fixing the drawers. So when I designed and built this thing originally, we had hardwood floors, and we moved recently, and our bedroom now has carpet. And it turns out that you're going to need quite a bit more clearance on the bottom of the drawers in order to get them open. As you can see here, they are quite difficult to open and close with the carpet. So we need to add a little bit of extra clearance. So if you already have carpet and want to build this bed frame, I recommend cutting the bottom of the drawer just slightly shorter so you don't have to deal with this. But if you move from somewhere that has hardwood to somewhere that has carpet like I did, I'm going to show you how to do this with a wood planer. And I'm working in the kitchen today because I'm in Minnesota and it's January and it is about one degree outside Fahrenheit. So, and we have a foot or two of snow. So I'm not about to go outside and I'm not going to work in the garage because it's insanely cold out. So let's uh, get to it. All right, so wood planing is actually pretty easy. You can adjust your depth and your angle. I have this set so each pass takes off a very, very small amount. I have this butted up against here so that way I can use both hands, keep this nice and level, and you just put it on the edge. Yeah, so those first few passes didn't do very much, so I just turned this to the right here, this little knob. That's going to make the blade stick down a little bit further. These are always kind of fun to look at. All right, and there you have it. With just a few passes of the wood plane, I was able to take off about an eighth of an inch off the bottom of this drawer face. And now we have all the clearance we need so it can move in and out unobstructed on a carpeted surface. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to like and subscribe. We're gonna be building some raised bed gardens here at our new property this spring and summer. So stay tuned for that. And if you want to build yourself a king size bed frame just like this one, you can go to frugalfootprint.com and download a copy of the design and then go to this video series here to watch and follow along as I built it from start to finish. Thanks for joining me on this video and I look forward to seeing you in the future. All right, take care.